Hi there, welcome to Puzzle Me. I'm Larissa. I'm Jenny. And welcome to our channel about puzzles. <laughs> a couple days ago, we decided to start a casual puzzle and we did not know just how much we would love it. Yeah, it was sort of a joke. Um, we had to stay here and wait for a plumber and I said, maybe let's open a board game, casual board game. Um, and then we found the puzzle <laughs> and we thought, you know, let's just give it a whirl. Yeah. And before we knew it, we were we, sucked in. We had this puzzle. puzzle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it started. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so this is our puzzle. This is our Stanley Park back in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Um, as you can see, it is quite intricate. Um, the thing that I like most about this puzzle is that the pieces, they were all different shapes, which a puzzle should be, but different shapes, like, not what you would expect. For example, pick one. Pick one. I'll pick this one. This one. Okay. <laughs> you pick yours, I'll pick mine. This one. That's not a regular puzzle piece you would find in any other puzzle. This one. That's a good one. Now this is an edge piece, and we call this the sneaky edge. The sneaky edge. Because you would be, when you start your puzzle making, which we'll go into, you sort them, and this would not be sorted as an edge piece. No. So no, that, that really throws you off. Yeah. So what you yeah. do as kids, I remember how you start a puzzle, is that you separate first. Before you can start yeah. the fun, you have to do the painful task of separating your pieces. You start with obviously the border, but like she said, you get sneaky border pieces. You start with your border, and then you get your four corners, and you go from there. So yesterday, we did this yesterday, didn't we? Okay. Day before? Yesterday and the day before. Yeah, basically day before we were two doing days yeah. on the puzzle. Anyways, we sort of had <laughs> two whole days on this food puzzle. <laughs> okay, so we sorted our puzzle out um, and we got all our kind of our pieces going. Um, but like Jenny was saying, you have the sneaky edges, so our border was completely messed up for like the first day. We abandoned that plan and then just started working on landmarks, what we call landmarks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as you can see, this is probably the easiest part to start out with these these people. Um, we started with our people. We went from yeah. our people Have to flowers, the flowers, flowers, totem poles, totem poles, which were a lot harder than we assumed. Than we thought that think. was going to be super easy. Yeah. No. You, as you can see, the thing about puzzles is that this looks like completely like different and like oh yeah, that's clearly people, that's clearly totem poles. But when you take a picture and hack it up, everything starts to look the same. And this is very blue toned. There's a lot mm. of blue. There's sky, there's water, there's the seawall, which for some reason is blue. Yeah. Uh, blue totem pole. Blue, blue buildings. buildings. Blue buildings. Yeah. Um, so we've now, I know it's only been one puzzle, but we now know, <laughs> we are experts in this, but now we know that when you choose a puzzle, your level of difficulty, I think, revolves around the tone, the color tone. So if you have yeah. a picture with a bunch of blues, it's obviously going to be very hard because you don't know where your blues belong. Yeah. And that is the problem we ran into. So I will say the part I hated most about this puzzle was the buildings. Yeah. I think this was the absolute, this is what we did last too because it was just so painful. And there's many times where we got upset, we had to take breaks. Yeah. We had to switch out, swap out, always take a break if you're feeling overwhelmed. And um, <laughs> always make sure you look at the puzzle from other angles. Like okay. one person looking at it the right way, one person looking at it from upside down, and then swapping yeah. constantly. Don't put pressure yeah. on yourself. Yeah. The puzzle will come together when it comes together. Like what, what I found is that if, even if you don't, like, even if you, you're you trying the same piece, like sometimes you'll think you're not even doing the same puzzle. You'll think that there's like pieces missing, which I, I thought. Yeah, we thought for sure. For example, this lady with the <sighs> hammer, which Lord. what is that about? Lord. We couldn't get her together at all. No. Yeah. No. And, and this man, man with machete and waiter. We were convinced pieces were missing. Yeah. I, we were convinced we were missing so many pieces because just nothing would fit. Um, but obviously, as time went on, and you, yeah, they were all here. Anyways, the thing <laughs> is, is that you can try getting a piece, try getting a piece. You can't get one for, let's say, five minutes. Don't beat yourself up. All of a sudden, you'll get three in a row that builds your yeah. morale, that boosts the morale. You get this instant rush, and you're ready to go again. So, never give up on yourself. Yeah. For example, <laughs> this building, now, oh, Lord. Th this is like a headache, this Jenny, building. It's just one. lines, it's blue. We, we, like, we practically finished the puzzle, but we thought we're not going to complete the puzzle. No, like, this is where I yeah. thought we, our downfall would be because I tried it 
And I don't even think I got one piece, honestly. I was there for probably a half an hour just fiddling around. I didn't get one. So I moved on over here to this. Jenny swooped in and she was kind of fiddling around. Um, you got very frustrated with that building, I think. Yeah. Um, and then we had our, our helper, Bradley. And um, he kind of came in and started messing around. And then finally in the end, this was the last part of the puzzle that we even got. And, and the, the rush. <laughs> We oh, got we should off, yeah. of, off of finishing our puzzle. <laughs> I, I called it delirium. Yeah, puzzle delirium. Saying puzzle delirium is what I, I would think it is. I can't even begin to say the. Oh, I was elated. When we finished that puzzle, I looked at you. <laughs> I felt so good about myself. It is so stupid. It really is. I feel stupid. I feel stupid that a puzzle made me that happy and feel that accomplished. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> like, I thought that I was going crazy because we it, we were looking at it for like two days straight and I was like, oh, thank God it's over. And at first I thought I was just relieved, but actually I was so proud of myself and I was just so happy. <laughs> like, like we finished it, like it was like a race at the end. We're like, oh, I know. oh my God, like, like get this like, cloud done, get this, get this building done. Like five we pieces left, wait. four pieces left, three pieces yeah. left. And it's like, you could see it coming <laughs> together. And it was just such a good, I'm reliving the feeling, and it was such a good <laughs> feeling. And every time you finished the section, you just like ran your hand over it, and it was so smooth. And then once it was all done, all I could do was touch the whole thing. <laughs> Pu like, puzzle joy. Um, yeah. And then so I feel like just, we both felt so strongly about doing this puzzle that we went out and bought, I think, four more. <laughs> it's a little overboard, but we're just chasing that feeling. We just yeah, want that feeling again. Yeah, the puzzle again. delirium. The like, puzzle delirium. Yeah. It sounds yeah. ridiculous. Like, it does sound, understand. It sounds stupid. But, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, we're chasing that high. The puzzle puzzle high. high. Puzzle mania. Yeah, so this is, yeah. E this is episode one of uh, Puzzle Me. Puzzle Me, where we obviously discuss our puzzle. What we liked about it. What, what we didn't like. Yeah. Um, our favorite yeah. bits of the puzzle. Yeah, we'll probably go into more depth. Oh, about... this, just the, the details of the puzzle. Oh, yes. We might as well go into. It's a thousand pieces, Good ones, the pieces, which I think you can't really do a puzzle under a thousand pieces. I feel if you do under a thousand, you're not serious about it's the like, end. are you a child? I feel like, like, like 250 under pieces. a thousand, I wouldn't even get the same rush. No, it would be done in like an hour. Yeah. Like, okay. It's like, oh, a I did. Super casual puzzle. Did one for 500 really, pieces. <laughs> really <laughs> casual puzzle. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the fact yeah. that it's so big, it took so much time. It's like, yeah. imagine doing a 2000. One day. <laughs> That'd be insane. I don't want to think about yeah. that one now. But um, this was a gift for you, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, it was just sort of in the cupboard. You know, yeah. Th thanks for the Thank you for the gift. Yeah. But my we yeah. say, though, the quality. Quality puzzle. Quality puzzle. That's incredible. This, I don't know, how $100 maybe, but. Yeah, who knows? This is a cr yeah. an incredibly, um, you know, it's very, it's quality puzzle. It was, the picture is incredible. Um, the pieces were incredible. The feeling in the end was incredible. It's yeah. hard because the bar has been set so high. Um, but, you know, I am definitely yeah. excited for different puzzles to come. So until yeah. next time. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching Puzzle Me. Thank you. And we'll see you again. Bye.